There is a Disney crisis, guys, going on. I've tried to talk about this a couple times, and yeah, the videos don't do so well and things like that, but it's something that I'm passionate about. I like Disney. I grew up with Disney. They have Star Wars now. They have Marvel. They have ties to like a lot of franchises that I give a shit about, so that's why I talk about it. But they just had some very troubling news. <laughs> Their movies are failing to meet expectations as far as box office goes. Their series that they have on Disney Plus, such as She-Hulk, Miss Marvel, have been poorly received. And they have invested a significant amount of money into exclusive content for Disney Plus. But now they're bleeding subscribers worse than 8-Bit Eric is. Like, I thought my channel loses subscribers daily. They are bleeding Disney Plus subscribers, which they were betting... All of their library, all of their IP, all of their content, exclusive content into this Disney Plus train that initially I think was doing pretty good. Now, there's an article that came out called uh, Disney Plus Sheds 4 Million Subscribers in Second Straight Quarterly Drop. Streaming losses narrow by 26. 4 million subscribers, ladies and gentlemen. Holy guacamole um this ain't good i think what they lost a couple million about a year or so ago Ugh, i don't know i don't know this could be attributed to all sorts of different factors but this is the second consecutive quarterly drop after closing 2022 with its first ever decline they got to be panicking now. I think they even sent in a replacement CEO. They brought Bob Iger back. Uh, they started limiting their projects and stuff. They're doing for a quality over quantity approach when it comes to Star Wars and Marvel. I think they did manage to narrow down their losses. They cut a lot of costs. They fired a lot of employees. Uh, I think they cut their losses by $400 million, which... <laughs> Down 26% year over year. Uh, they're putting less money into exclusive content as well, which what's the point of having an app if you're going to be doing less exclusive content at this point? But I think at this point, people are app burnt out. Think of all the streaming services that you have out there now. Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, Apple TV, just to name some. I think people are getting burnt out on having to have different apps it, it's like what you got to subscribe to everything in order to get decent content. I, I think that, you know, their their approach to plan to, I guess, release less exclusive content to make it more quality over quantity is good. But at the same time, I feel and I was I was actually just talking to about this with Robbie from Order 42 show the other day. When they didn't have Disney Plus, it seemed like everything was just better, like they were making more quality content, the movies, you know, the less movie releases they had for Marvel, everything felt more impactful. Everything felt a little bit more coherent. Now it's like they're just trying to constantly feed their Disney Plus subscribers with content and keep them aboard that. I think the the focus has gotten lost a little bit. Now, I don't know. On top of that, I lean into the side that I feel... Um, Disney has focused a little bit more on their diversity initiatives, this whole inclusiveness stuff, the whole wokeness, that I feel a lot of people are off put from it. Now, some people, oh, Eric, you're just, everything is woke when it comes to you. No, I think putting all this stuff and these, this political commentary and shoving it into people's faces and every single thing, race swapping, it, it causes people to tone out in droves. Now, is this $4 million because of that? Probably not, maybe not all of it, but a good chunk of it is probably because of stuff like the new Little Mermaid that has come out and other things that have been, I guess, woke when it comes to Disney. Rather than concentrate on writing good stories, making good, entertaining, compelling content with fan favorite franchises like Star Wars, which has been a complete fucking mess, a, they, they'd rather push these narratives. Whether you want to fucking admit it or not, I think you're in denial if you don't. Now, with that said, I think the theme parks for Disney are doing fucking wonderfully. In fact, I think they exceeded expectations from what was uh, estimated. I think, you know, Disneyland and Disney World are still killing it. But I do feel that 
a 4 million subscriber loss is pretty concerning. I think the number is 157.8 million subscribers, which is significantly lower than the estimated of 163.17 million subs. Now, there is a, another confirmation that has come out, and I think this is the sign of things to come of, of desperation. They're planning to combine Disney Plus and Hulu into one app by year's end. And I think this is following suit of even HBO rebranding HBO Max. Um, funny enough, and, and I don't want to toot my own horn, but a couple years ago, actually a few years ago, 2018, one of my good buddies was starting a startup company that was essentially a streaming app, cable TV without the cable type of thing. And one of the predictions that he had is that all these major corporations are going to make an app each and they're going to make everybody pay extraordinary amounts of money for content that is going to be a little bit subpar. I think I even said this in a Retropalooza panel like a few years back. That eventually, we're going to have an app for every fucking TV network or TV company and it's just going to become flooded and everybody He's going to get burnt out, and I feel that that's exactly what's happening. I would not doubt it if Disney starts to license out its content to other apps. Like, we might see Marvel and Disney stuff and Star Wars stuff back on Netflix someday, especially if this is going to be happening. I think this right here is a sign of desperation that, hey, let's cut everything, let's put it into one fucking thing and see if it works. Um... Who knows? I personally do not want companies to fail. All right. I, I, let me say that right off here. I may call for, you know, companies behavior. I may call that out. I may might be like, hey, this company's fucking up. I'm going to boycott them and this and that. But I never want to see anybody fail, uh, especially when it comes to entertainment and for people to get entertainment and things like that. But, you know, Disney has to be doing something right. I think... This is definitely a desperate measure, a desperate attempt to mask their declining subscription base. And I think if you combine, I guess, all the audiences of Hulu and Disney, it might make the number look bigger, but it's not. It's going to be two separate entities into one. And who knows what the subscription fee is going to be, if it's going to cost even fucking more. Uh, if the content is the same, if it's not compelling, if it's just everything, I don't, I don't know. I Is it a temporary Band-Aid? I think it might and, and one thing that I have noted is that a lot of people are cutting back on subscriptions, myself included. Like, I, I realize I barely ever fucking use Hulu, so I got rid of that. I barely use Netflix, so I'm probably going to get rid of that. Honestly, Disney and HBO are the only two that I really watch, and then Peacock occasionally for the WWE premium live events. But it's just too much, too much hassle now. And then on top of that, you get a Sling TV subscription like me, and... It's just way too many monthly fucking fees coming when cable TV at this point with everything that you're buying is about the same price, if not cheaper. So what do you guys think about this thing from Disney going on? Four million subscribers lost.